Step number one, read the question right over here. How much money does Michael have if Sharon has $148.34? Sounds good. First things first, everybody, what's the, if there's a word or a short phrase that we wanted to write down here immediately, what would it be for you? What's the one thing we're looking for here? Come on, in the red highlight. So yeah, we're getting away from that RTQ. Like we know it's gonna be reading the question. I'm already implying that. What phrase are you writing down because you read the question? Right, Michael's money. How much money does Michael have? So if you wanna shorten it, you wanna condense it, you wanna say, Something like, you know, Michael equals blank dollars or Mike has blank dollars. Either way, that's fine. Because what you're implying is that you're looking for the amount of money that Michael has. That's really what it's all about. Can you rephrase the question to show that you understand what you're looking for? So if it's saying, how much money does Michael have? That means we're looking for the amount of money that Michael has. Cool. Number two, information. So we know that Sharon has $148. So I'm just gonna write that down. 148.34. Now notice everybody, we don't know exactly what we need to do yet. Don't freak out if it's not obvious at first. Take a second, write the information down and see the relationships. Next up, what else do we have here? I see that we see that it says, Sharon and Michael realized their total savings for a purchase was short by $153. And 26 cents. Okay. So their total savings, so Sharon and Michael, their total was short by $153.26. And before we continue, one of the main frustrations that so many people have with the ASVAB is not knowing what to study and how to study to begin with. So if you're one of those people that can do a good job if everything's lined up for you, then go ahead and join our program. We have all the classes, all the recordings, all the courses with practice questions, with videos, and you can text me all the way up until you pass. So that's how it works. It's very simple, straightforward, and it gets you to the score and the job you want. Check out the link in the description of this video to learn more and sign up now. So Sharon plus Michael are short that much money. And it says that they needed this much money to make their purchase. Okay, let me write that. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. Let's talk about how this lines up. Let's take a second to talk about this real quick. They needed this much money to make the purchase. So let's kind of work through the story here. It sounds like to me that Sharon's money and Michael's money together, they needed this much more money, the $153, so if you have Michael and Sharon, they still needed the $153 to get to that total amount, to get to that one, that 563.43. Everyone, is that fair to say? So let me actually write this down to show you exactly what I mean. So I'm gonna move this around a little bit. So Sharon and Michael are short 153.26 to get 563.43 total. Is that a fair assessment or a fair statement? Sharon, Michael, and the extra 150 that they're missing, together that would make up the total that they need. Yes or no, do you agree or disagree? So the amount of money Sharon, Michael have, and that $150 together would be what they need, that total. So really what we need to do again is, is play through that logic. And if you want to, you could make an equation. You could make an equation like this. You could say, Sharon plus Michael plus the 153, so again, this is all their money, plus the 153, 26, Everybody, those three things together are supposed to equal a one again. What, what's it supposed to equal? The 563.43. And this is not the only way you can set this problem up. Again, as long as you're writing a truthful 
mathematical sentence or an equation, you're fine. Like you really truly are fine. So let's go over the logic one more time because we're gonna solve this next, but I don't care about solving this if you don't understand how we got here. So let's understand how we got here one final time and we'll calculate. So again, I'm reading the story just from here. Sharon and Michael, they realized that their total savings, so what they had together was short by this amount. So that sentence already tells you that Sharon plus Michael plus this much, that's what they need. All that together is what they need, but they don't have the 153.26. But if they did have it, Sharon, Michael, and that 153 makes up a total of $563 for whatever it is they're trying to buy. So before I continue, yes or no, are you completely on board before we move on? Yes or no, are you on board before we move on and solve this bad boy here? Cool. Again, I really wanna make sure I explain this nice and smooth for us here. So here we go. To solve this, everyone, um, whose amount do we know so far? Is it Sharon or Michael? Quick, who do we know? Who do we know? Sharon and what money? What should we replace Sharon with then? 148.34, that's right, 148.34. So we're good there. I'm gonna replace Sharon with 148.34 plus Michael plus the 153.26 equals all of this, right? So I'm gonna go scroll down just a little bit here, 563.43. Now, what do I do first here, everybody? What should we do first? Right, thank you, Whitney. We can go ahead and add this. Um, so, um, Marie Luce, go ahead and shoot me a text. Stay tuned in the class. I'll give my contact information um, to address that specific issue. I'm happy to help you out with your situation. So, let's get back to this. Let's focus here. But here, yeah, we can definitely add this up. Whitney pointed out, we can just add these like terms here. 148.34 and 153.26. We could add those together. Those are like terms on the same side. Add them on up. So let's see what they are. Okay, let's add these up here. So here we go. We have ourselves four plus six. That's going to be 10. Just make sure that lines up. So it's going to be 10. Carry the one. Three plus one is four plus two is six. 8 plus 3 is 11, that's going to be 10, and that's going to be 3. So we have ourselves 30160. So we have 30160. Con type the word confirm if you did the math with me and you confirm the amount. Type the word confirm if you can confirm that amount. Perfect. Sweet. Looks like I'm not as bad as math, at math as I thought I was, so looks like we're good here. So we have Michael plus 30160. So we just underline both of these. 30160, that's what's gonna equal that 563.43. So now that we have this, my party people, what's the last thing we're supposed to do? If the amount of money that Michael has plus that $300 gives you the 560, what is the backwards step that we take to find out how much Michael has? If you add that much to Michael, you get the 563. Do the opposite to solve the equation and subtract. But I don't like lazy folks. Come on, subtract, subtract both sides by what? That's right, subtract 360 from both sides. Both sides, not just the 563, but from both sides. So minus 30160, minus 30160. Boom, that's gonna cancel out on the left, leaving you with Michael equals and look at this a lot of people might be looking at this and saying man coach uh we gotta borrow we gotta borrow oh man this is gonna suck well you can use mental math tricks to really get this to a much easier problem because what i can do here is this 500 minus 300 is 200 so 263 minus 1 262 so then 262 43 minus 60 boom so if that's already 262 well guess what that's 261.83 done 
And again, with mental math knowledge, you can get that done fairly quickly. You have everything you need to destroy mental math, especially with the math basics course. Has anybody here gotten to the decimal section, unit four, the decimal section of the math basics course yet? Has anybody here gotten to that yet? I know a handful of y'all have gotten to it. It's uh, about halfway through the math basics course, but if you've been on it, how are you feeling after going through it? Do you feel like you're faster or more confident handling decimals? Do you, for those of you who have used it, do you feel more confident handling decimals? Joshua, Socorro, Ron, Giovanni, yes. Whitney, right on. So that's what it's all about. It's about being able to look at stuff like this and being like, I got this. Man, ain't, ain't no thing. Like that's really what it's all about. So there it is. There's my answer. 26183. Boom, 26183.